Hi, Dennis Ray here. Have you ever had times when you would have liked to save the audio or the sound from a video, for instance, a YouTube video? Well, in this video, we will discuss how to separate the sound from a video, then save it as an MP3 file or any other audio format. Let's get to it. The first step is to download the video you want to save audio from. For my example, I downloaded my video where, ironically, I explain how to download a video. I put a link for it in the description below, and I put an end card toward the end of this video. If you click on the end card, it will take you directly to the video of how to download a video. So this is the beginning of the video. Hi, Dennis Ray here. If you're looking for a really good video downloader, Look no further than WinX YouTube Downloader. WinX is quick, easy to use, saves videos in different formats, is free. The next step is to use a really good video editor. I'm using Shotcut, a really great free editor. I'll put a link where you can download it in the description below. Actually, the process would be basically the same using any good video editor. So we'll open up Shotcut and uh, I'll move the video that I want to edit into the playlist. <clears throat> and we'll move that down into the timeline. Now, I don't want to have the audio from the entire video in here that I'm going to cut this down. So let's cut it down right about here. Okay, so we'll get rid of this part. Okay, so I'll just take the audio from this part and we'll right click on it. We'll say detach audio. Okay, and the audio has been detached. It's below the video now. And we don't need the video anymore. So we'll go to the output area Right click on that, go to track operations, go to remove track, because we'll get rid of the video track itself. And that leaves the audio track. So with the audio track, we'll go to export. And in export, yeah, let's make this bigger, okay. We'll scroll down to audio and select the audio format that we want. And I'm going to select MP3 and then hit export file. And I'm going to export that to my desktop and I'll just name it example. and say save. Okay, over here, it went through the process, made a green check there, that means it's done. Proce project has been modified, do you want to save your changes? Well, no, we don't want to save it in Shotcut. We already have it saved on our desktops, so we say no. Okay, and there is our mp3 file. Now let's see how it sounds. By the way, the player I'm using is FUBAR2000, a really great audio player. I did a video about it, link in the description. Hi, Dennis Ray here. If you're looking for a really good video downloader, look no further than WinX YouTube Downloader. WinX is quick, easy to use, saves videos in different formats, is free. Well, that sounded pretty good. And the reason for that is that it uh, comes in at 256 kilobytes per second, which is CD quality. So it sounds really great. One last thing we can do, we can uh, normalize the sound so that it's the same sound quality and same level as the rest of your audio files so we can attach replay gain to it and that's our next step 
Watching my videos may not make you laugh or cry, and they don't become a part of you. But you will learn something, and learning is fun. So be sure to like and subscribe down below. Okay, thank you. To attach replay gain, I'm using WXMP3 gain, and I did a video about this too, and there's a link in the description about this too. So open this up and uh, hit this to add a file, and we want to add the file that we just did from the video. Open that up. There it is. And we want to check it, see how it looks, and it says that it could drop it down by 1.5. You say OK. Hit the green check to process it. It's processed. Replay gain has been attached. Close it. And then we can play it and see how it sounds too. Hi, Dennis Ray here. If you're looking for a really good video downloader, look no further than WinX YouTube Downloader. WinX is quick, easy to use, saves videos in different formats, is free. Yep, still sounds pretty good. And you notice that the volume is just a little bit lower than what it sounded like before, and that's because replay gain is attached to it, which is normalizing the volume the same as the rest of my audio files. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you detach audio from a video file and attach replay gain to it. That was how to save the audio from a video file. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.